Healthcare is a human right. Education is a human right. Affordable housing is a human right. The billionaires who own that media have an agenda. It's enormous power in the hands of a few people. The status quo is working very, very well for the people on top, while the middle class continues to shrink and working people in America are really struggling. Hi, my name is Senator Bernie Sanders, and I'm here at Penguin to answer some big questions. Well, what we have got to do is take on the incredible excesses and greed that currently exist. We need to fight for a world which not only deals with the existential threat of climate change, but also one which has a vibrant democracy where ordinary people are able to actively participate, effectively participate in their economic and political lives. What does that mean? It means that human rights are basically, uh, that we need to deal with issues like healthcare, education, uh, the ability of people to control their own work lives. Uh, one of the things that concerns me so much is we have many, many people who go to work every day who are really unhappy about the work that they're doing. We can change a many hundreds of year old structure which says, I'm the boss, you're the worker, I have the power, you have no power. So economic rights are human rights, and we've got to make sure that in our countries and in around the world, people are able to obtain the basic necessities of life. Healthcare is a human right. Education is a human right. Affordable housing is a human right. The ability to control your work life is something that we should be striving for as well. Billionaires are bad for society because the level of income and wealth inequality is not only unjust from an economic perspective, it also has political ramifications. So that in my country, we have three people who own more wealth than the bottom half of American society. We've got people out on the street, and you have people who are worth hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars. But in addition to that, the people who have the money have the power. They determine whether what wages workers are earning. They determine whether housing is affordable. They also have enormous political power. So in the United States, billionaires are able to contribute unlimited, unlimited amounts of money into the political process. So if I'm a billionaire and I don't like you, who are a United States senator, I can contribute endless amounts of money to try to defeat you. And I like you because you're supporting tax breaks for the rich or deregulation, I can put enormous amounts of money into your campaign. So we have in America a movement toward oligarchy where the rich control not only the economic and, and political life of the country, but just have power over people's lives every single day. In the United States today, uh, you have eight large media conglomerates uh, who control what about 90% of the American people see, hear, and read. And that is very dangerous. And the billionaires who own that media have an agenda. And what their agenda is primarily is to protect the status quo, because the status quo is working very, very well for the people on top, while the middle class continues to shrink and working people uh, in America are really struggling. So what you have is a, a media which does not ask very often, in fact, very rarely, some of the most important issues, like why do we have so much income and wealth inequality? Worse now in America than ever been, but we hardly ever discuss it. Why do we have so much concentration of ownership, where in economic sector after sector, you have a handful of large corporations uh, controlling what the American people purchase? We don't talk about the power of Wall Street, where you have three large Wall Street investment firms uh, that together are the major shareholders in over 95% of the Standard & Poor's 500 corporations. Enormous power in the hands of a few people. We don't ask the questions in the United States. Away. We spend twice as much as you do in the UK on health care, while 85 million Americans are uninsured or underinsured. We don't ask why in the richest country on earth we have one of the highest rates of childhood poverty of almost any major country. We don't ask why the leaders of the fossil fuel industry have lied for decades about the crisis of climate change, denied the reality of what carbon emissions do to the planet. So 
Bottom line is, you got zillions of channels, TV channels, zillions of radio stations, many newspapers, and yet, by and large, they are owned by the very wealthy who prefer not to have serious discussion about the most important issues facing working people. What you have in my country, at least, uh, is uh, incredible political power in the hands of the few. As a result of a terrible Supreme Court decision called Citizens United uh, back in 2010, I think, that meant that billionaires could spend unlimited amounts of money in the political process. So they have enormous power over the Republican Party, a great deal of power over the Democratic Party as well. And when you have big money controlling the political process, it is hard to come up with candidates who are prepared to stand up to that money and fight for the needs of working families. But I will say that in recent years, what we have seen, and I've worked very hard on this, uh, we have seen the election of a number of wonderful young progressives, often uh, young women and men of color, who are now in the U.S. House of Representatives. In fact, we have more strong progressives in the Congress today than we've had in the modern history of this country. We're seeing strong progressives elected all over the country. So I am optimistic that if our people come together, working class people come together, young people come together, we can, in fact, bring about transformative change uh, in the United States. No, I don't think you can have an elected Supreme Court. The current Supreme Court uh, is extremely reactionary. They have had uh, made some really horrible decisions that represent the interest of big money, whether it is the Citizens United uh, decision regarding campaign contributions, whether it deals with uh, women's rights. Recently, they ruled that women do not have the constitutional right of privacy to protect their own bodies. That they think the government should be able to determine whether a woman has an abortion or not. Totally uh, absurd decision. Uh, there are ways that we have to deal with the Supreme Court, but I don't think uh, electing uh, justices uh, is the path forward. Thank you for watching. You can get my book, It's Okay to Be Angry About Capitalism, by clicking below.